Hello everybody and here's the long awaited video of our three selections for the continuation of High Desert Labradors when Sadie retires. So we had to pick three of our girls to get genetically tested and just to make sure that they were completely clear of anything that could be passed on um, in the line with any particular issues that they might have. So we sent those away and without further ado, We'll run you through the three we picked. So first of all, <laughs> enter stage left is sweet little Iris. Iris. I think she's a little mad that yeah. mama has this t-shirt on. I know. Oh, then yeah. we have our wonderful little hero. And then stealing the, the view as she walks in is gorgeous <laughs> leader. <laughs> Are you just burying your face in this grass? I almost said sand. It's not sand. And Sadie is wearing her fabulous outfit, formerly known as my paint shirt, <laughs> to keep them from nursing. What do you think, Sades? Humiliating? So let's talk about each of these three girls and the genetic test results we got back. Who should we do first, Mr. HDL? All right, so let's see. Well, they're all wandering away from me now. What are you finding in the grass? <laughs> all right, let's see. Little Miss Iris. So we love Iris. Why do we love Iris? She's beautiful personality but it's just so difficult to pick why we love iris any more than any of the other dogs but what we've done on uh, on these three is we've majored on the characteristics of the breed which i'll let mrs htl explain and just point out other than when sadie walks through with a <laughs> paris fashion t-shirt so we look for good confirmation which is really honestly quite hard to see this young but looking for the beautiful um, squarish head and black nose and uh, really even coat and let's go ahead and talk about uh, little Lita there so Lita has a super soft coat like a bunny and then one thing we noticed about Lita from the very beginning is her super waggy tail and she has what now. promises to be a otter tail like Mama Sadie's where it's nice and thick at the base and not super long and uh, it's hard to tell at this age I mean they definitely have obviously so much growing to do uh, but Lita is uh, is really uh, a beautiful example of a healthy little Labrador puppy. And so to uh, double check our assumptions, we did do the genetic testing as Mr. HDL said. And so I'll just go ahead and run through um, Lita's. So the first test is the PRA, PRCD uh, test. This is a degenerative eye disease and uh, Lita was clear on that test. She was also clear for the hereditary nasal parakeratosis uh, DNA test and <laughs> little Lita is over there having some mommy time. Move a little closer to her. See this sweet little interaction. So it's so awesome when we can see them interacting doing something other than nursing which is why the uh, why the um, shirt is so helpful. I need a third hand here and Mr. HDL went to go get the poop bucket. Um, the third test is the exercise induced collapse and she was uh, clear for that as well. Hi baby. That's our Hera. She's gonna eat the DNA test results. The uh, centronuclear myopathy is another one in this Labrador uh, genetic panel, and little Lita was also clear for that. The degenerative myelopathy DNA test, she was clear for that. And finally, the, oh my goodness, what are you talking about there, Iris? The cystinuria 
uh, test also came back clear. So as far as this initial genetic testing panel is concerned, Lita is all clear, so that is great news. The only other thing that would have to happen if we were to choose Lita to be our future mama of High Desert Labradors is she would have to get her hips and elbows cleared. And so when she's about two years of age, uh, we would get her hips and elbows x-rayed and they would be uh, looked at and certified by a special uh, radiologist that would give us a rating um, of her uh, hips and elbows from uh, fair all the way up to excellent that would um, give us a strong indication that she would not be likely to produce pups with hip dysplasia which a lot of you lab lovers know um, that hip dysplasia is a uh, is a common thing among Labradors um, unfortunately so next in the lineup is Hera who's getting a fabulous little tummy rub right now in the grass. So what do we have to say about Hera, Mr. HDL? Again, it's really difficult to pick them apart for, for looks. They are absolutely gorgeous, every single one. You'd shut your eyes and pick a winner. <laughs> but I think the things about her, before we talk about her, her actual breed characteristics is, I think her intelligence she displays is a very quiet, reserved one. So she does mm -hmm. run with a pack and she'll have her moments of energy where she's dominating just the same as any other pup. But a lot of the time, she will sit back and just watch things. And uh, it's just that quiet observation that you see in Hera, which is wonderful to see in the pen. And you know, if you can, if you look around, you'll see <laughs> one pup just checking you out. And nine times out of 10, it will be Hera. <laughs> So sweet. And we also got Hira's test results back and she is clear also for all six of those diseases in the uh, Labrador genetic disease panel. Oh, good pee pee outside there, Hera. And last but not least, where'd she go? Iris. Oh. She's following over here to Mr. HDL. <laughs> so what do we love about Iris? Well, she's a bundle of energy, isn't she? <laughs> she is. <laughs> I can't fine. find her. <laughs> there she is. She's never Hi. afraid to voice her opinion. Oh, yeah. 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 But just a beautiful little face, as you can see, and just a sweetheart, gorgeous coat. Uh, just an adorable little Labrador and we are thrilled to report that Iris is also clear for all six of those genetically uh, passed on diseases and so all three of these girls could be the future pick of high desert Labradors and so for all you Aphrodite and Athena fans out there it's not that they wouldn't have been great as well they were just uh, particular things we saw in these three uh, <laughs> and of course we wish we could keep them all yeah, yeah. <laughs> so put in the comments who you think out of these three uh, the pick should be we still haven't made our final decision and we'll be announcing that uh, soon it so get any easier it just gets harder <laughs> it does just get harder <laughs> have a great day bye, -bye.